But DoorDash people, how we doing? <clears throat> I thought I would um, kind of, as you can see by the thumbnail, kind of have my input, my two cents on um, the content creator, Nova Dasher. Um, he's pretty big out there content-wise. Um, got quite a few followers. Um, and he has just gotten deactivated, if you did not know. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple things that I that uh, could possibly be reasons why. Of course, I don't know. He doesn't even know. Um, so for what I'm saying, it's just things that I picked up on, things that I notice. Um, some things I wouldn't do um, when it comes to content on my channel uh, in regards to DoorDash. But I think uh, the biggest thing, and, and mind you, I mean, he has 21,000 deliveries. Um, whether that means anything or not. And it probably doesn't because this applies to anybody with five deliveries or a hundred thousand deliveries. So I feel number one, just because a person has X amount of deliveries does not make them safe in the sense of versus somebody that only has a hundred deliveries. Um, the rules and terms of service applies to us all. Um, and like I said, just a couple of things that kind of that kind of were red flags to me. Um, the main one being uh, he posted a video a few days ago about a contract violation that he got. And um, I don't know why I got a feeling like I feel this is probably the line that got crossed uh, that DoorDash wasn't OK with. And they just went and made a determination that that uh, that they were going to deactivate him. Again, I don't uh, I don't know for sure to say um, I don't work for DoorDash to speak on the matter. But <clears throat> I feel like I feel like um, when he did that contract violation video, um, the video is fine. I think the, the line that was crossed and this is the way I would view it from DoorDash's standpoint and even from my standpoint, and I'm nobody special or anything like that to be saying, but uh, I guess he went to do a shop and deliver order or something like that, and he or he picked up an order for a customer. But I think it was shop and deliver because he had a specific item. Uh, and he actually posted, uh, he actually posted the item that the customer ordered which uh, which happened to be um, uh, an adult toy per se I don't know how to say it I don't I don't want to I don't want to risk my account just because I don't know and not so much my YouTube account but my doordash account I don't repeat the same stuff that he that he did but he actually took a screenshot of the item but it was a uh, pleasuring toy for adults um, and he actually took a screenshot of it. And to me, I felt like maybe that was the line that was crossed with DoorDash. Like it's not okay um, to post things that customers have ordered, especially sensitive things like that. Um, if you want to go back and actually watch his video, you can go back and watch that video and you can actually see exactly what it is that he posted a screenshot on in the middle of the video. Uh, explaining that contract violation uh, to him it was made like it was hey no big deal blah 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 but to me that could be a sensitive thing it's like the customer can come across your channel one day even though you didn't say their name or anything like that and they're gonna know that that video was about them come that contract violation or whatever it is so we just don't know what rules and in terms of service and things like that uh there are when it comes to uh, you posting videos of specific details, and that's why when I'm driving, um, I'm very mindful not to post addresses. Um, I try my best not to actually record things that customers are ordering and or that I'm picking up. Um, if it's food, like, like no big deal. But when it comes to sensitive things that customers are ordering, um, that's their personal orders for things. And it, and it may be personal needs um, that, that people are requesting that they don't want out there in the public's eye. And again, like I said, he didn't, he didn't display a person's name or anything like that. But to me, I just felt like, okay, speak about the, the contract violation. Why do we have to post a picture of the item that the customer ordered? That's where I was like, Ugh. like, 
it rubbed me wrong in that part because it was just kind of like, why are we posting the thing that they ordered? Like, what difference did it matter? Whether it was a banana or whether it was some special thing that, that a customer needed, it's like, why post it? Like, just say you got a contract violation for an item that you said you dropped off and called it a day. So me personally, I feel personally that um, that, that was a, a red flag for DoorDash and they fought it over with the contract violation and they let them go. Um, I don't know if they have a connection as to what drivers are what out there. Um, by the videos that we post, unless you're posting your full first, last, middle name, social security number, drive's license number, uh, such and such to, to be able to match you to an account with DoorDash. I'm not 100% sure, but on top of that, the fact that you are one of the promoters for No Tip, No Trip, um, I, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. me personally. Like when you're displaying that and when you're speaking on that, it's ha ha. Yeah, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. Blah, 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 blah. My thing about it is just for the sake of creating contact, just keep it to yourself. Like just keep the whole no tip, no trip to yourself. Like we don't know if you're putting yourself at risk by displaying that information that you're not accepting any tip, any trips without there being tips. So it's like, just keep it to yourself. Like, don't even, don't even voice it. Like, that's just how I feel. Like, it's just, it's too much. Like, for what little money you're making on YouTube, and I like to assume, because I don't think any of us has like millions of followers where we're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to where it's more beneficial for the YouTube channel than it is for you to do DoorDash. Because now you've lost your whole DoorDash account to drive, which means now you've lost access to really even do content anymore on DoorDash because now you don't drive for DoorDash no more because you got deactivated. Now, granted, we don't know exactly what the reason was. Um, and that's what will still be had to find out. Um, at the end of the day, he will be the only person that would know come down to it. So, um, I don't know. I, just, I feel like it was the whole putting it out there what the customer had ordered. Regardless of what the reason was, he got the contract violation. I think that was the nail in the coffin for DoorDash. And they probably all additionally looked at it like, okay, this is a guy that, that puts it out there that he don't accept trips without tips. And it's just like, when it comes to that, it's bad PR for DoorDash because it's telling the customers that, hey, we're not going to pick up your orders unless you make sure you tip us. Like, it's not... You're not breaking it down by like the mileage, like, okay, this amount of miles, I'll pick it up or this and that, blah, blah, blah. You're basically saying, if you don't tip me, I'm not picking your order up. And by doing that, like, I feel like you might reach out to maybe 1% of the, 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 the people that use DoorDash out there, like maybe 1%. Like, and I'm being serious, like in terms of them changing to probably tipping. Like these people are gonna tip if they can tip, and if they can't tip, they're not gonna tip. Like it's very simple. That math is simple, and that, at the end of the day, DoorDash made it available for them to tip before, during, and after the delivery. So you have three different chances to attempt to provide some kind of service for a tip. Tips are not just required just because you signed up and you work for a job. Like. I don't know. I don't know how else I can say it. Like, and I know I'm right. Like in the world of tips, tips are in the sense of, 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 of great customer service, just customer excellence in the sense of providing a service to the customers. Like you have to provide something to then get tips just because you put it out there. Do you want a tip means that they have to tip like it, it, it's it, no, and granted, I get a lot of tips. I love tips. I appreciate all the tippers out there that tip me and all the tippers that tip all the drivers. I, I appreciate it. We love you guys. But you have some drivers out there that are just like, no, I'm not picking it up if it's not a tip included. And it's just like, dang, like, like why? Like, and I get it for those that are, oh, this trip is too long and they didn't include a tip. And it's like, okay, so you'll take it if it has a dollar tip included. So then it'll be the next thing, like, okay, well, how much of a good, how much is a tip, uh, a, a good tip? Like, then it goes to that. So it's just, it's really hard. It's a really bad gray area when it comes to the whole tipping thing. So 
for most of these people that are doing the no tip, no trip, I don't really see or hear them providing any kind of service like aside of you signed up to drive your vehicle, you signed up to put gas in your car, you signed up to take care of your maintenance and it was displayed in the TOS right then and there. Otherwise, it would be required for customers to provide tips. And then you go and you display this like you're not going to do it. And granted, you are a contract driver. You can do and say what you want, but you have to understand that there may be possible repercussions behind what you say in regards to having a company's name in your mouth and what you're saying in regards to the company. It's bad PR for the company. If you got a hundred, a thousand people following you, and I've said this before, and you say, oh, I don't pick up any orders unless they have tips. Then you got a thousand people following behind what you do. You know what kind of damage that is? It's a lot of damage, like for the company, DoorDash is not making money. You're obviously not making money because you're just declining orders just because they don't have tips. And now the customers aren't getting, most of them aren't getting orders picked up or on time in the sense. And they're getting orders picked up and they're cold because at some point, my next point to that is there are going to be, there is going to be a driver that's going to pick it up. It doesn't matter what you say or how you feel about not wanting to accept the trip that doesn't have a tip. The next man is going to pick it up and I'm going to be one of them people that is going to pick up the order because I don't worry about uh, orders that don't have tips. Like, of course, every market is different. Uh, my market is great. I don't have to drive far to make what I make and I make a good amount. And of course, I'm in Southern Cali, Los Angeles, um, Orange County area. Um, so I don't have anything to complain about. So I do totally understand all you people that get these one and two dollar uh, base pays with no tips like I get it and I'm not one to promote declining orders but if you can't do the orders and that, that's your way of driving you can't do the orders and I and you got to do what you got to do um, so I'm not saying you have to sit and accept every order either but just like if you're not going to take the trip if I mean if you're not going to accept the order just don't accept it I suggest you don't make content that you're just not accepting based on that reason I don't know I don't know if DoorDash will do anything about that, come that. I know they can't do anything because you're a contract driver, but just when you're promoting it and other people are following you. If it's just you out there doing it and nobody knew it, then it would just be you out there doing it. But when you put it out there and you blast it out there like this is the way to do things, um, you're not going to sway over more customers than none uh, for it to make a change like that. This is not the only company that's dealing with the whole tipping problem. Um, there's a whole tipping world out there that everybody is dealing with the business wise getting tipped. We're in a bad market of, of, of all this inflation, uh, a bad world, a bad economy, however you want to put it. And some people just don't have the extra money to tip. It's just that plain and simple. And um, I'm going to make it a point to say that you don't tip everywhere. I guarantee you there's not one person that can say they tip every time there's a place that says they allow they accept tips. I wish somebody would say that they accept. I mean, that they tip each and every place that they go to that has a tip jar there. You can't. There's no way. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say like, oh, I tip each and every place that I go because tips are starting to get crazy now. Like McDonald's has tip jars now. Starbucks has tip jars now. And it's like they clock in, they make an hourly wage, they make drinks, they get paid per hour. But then there's a tip that needs to be given. <coughs> and it's just like, if you're not making enough money, then you need to find a job that pays you enough money. Just like with DoorDash, if I'm not getting paid the right amount of money that I'd want, I'm not gonna do DoorDash no more. I'm not gonna beat it into the customers to tip me to continue to drive for a company that's not paying me well because it's always the base pay part that you have the problem with. So, I don't know. I mean, that's just my opinion. And of course, I mean, my opinion is just my opinion. It doesn't matter to each his own. And I have no ill will towards anybody that drives any specific type of way. But uh, you do have to be mindful. I will say that because you don't know what you possibly could be, uh, could be causing yourself when you're out here making videos, especially content creators. If you're not a content creator and you're just out there driving, I mean, you're not putting yourself out there on Front Street. But when you're putting yourself out there on Front Street, 
I'm making these videos to make a few dollars because that's all it really is on YouTube for especially for the channels that are monetized. It's a few dollars. Like it's not in comparison to what you're actually making with DoorDash. It's not worth it enough to lose your whole account. Like, I mean, unless you got all these uh, multi apps that you're using and you make a whole bunch of money otherwise, and that's just one piece of the puzzle. And I guess maybe that's a different story. But for me, DoorDash is it. And I do have a channel. That I want to that I want to keep up, so that's why I tend to try to stay positive. There's a lot of there's a lot of negative things out there. There's things I come across, things that I feel they want to speak on, but I don't because I know I'm not going to change the things and the issues that I'm concerned about. So I'm not even going to bother putting my channel at risk. I'm not going to bother putting my driver account at risk with DoorDash because I make a lot of money. So um, that's it. But it was just my 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 thought on why I feel um, Nova Dasher got deactivated. And I pray and I wish that he gets his account back because uh, that's a person's money. That's a person's well-being in that sense. And uh, I just hate to see people when they lose money like that. Um, so with that said, your boy Cimoto, you know what it is. I'm always come to you for the most part with, uh, with positivity. Um, every now and then we gotta we, we do have to bring up something on a bad side or a bad note um, and I hate doing it but it's uh, I guess it's just part of the world we live in so with that said people uh, you dashers out there you be safe um, you make all the money that you can that's what we're here for we're not here to try to get fired or try to try to lose our jobs so just do the best you can try to get tips when you can provide those services that you can to try to try to help yourself out try to better yourself we put more energy into being positive than what we want to report negative, we might be okay. We just might be okay. So with that said, I'll leave you at that. Your boy C-Motor, you know what it is. Until next time, peace out.